What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'll be revisiting a couple of the maze decks that I wanted to brush up on before moving on entirely from the set. But before I begin, if you could happen to click on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons, it would be greatly appreciated as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. Clicking on those notification bells would also mean a lot as they notify you when I upload on the channel. So in my Synchron video, I mentioned Mare Mare and the 100 Eyes Apple Dragon and how I felt like there was stuff that you can do with them. And this first combo will show just that as we're going to start with the standard route by going into our speeder, chain blocking it with the converter, but the converter will bring back the Destrudo this time. And this will be important for our end board because it's a level 7 tuner as we're going to bring the rest of the tuners out from our deck with the speeder. And then from here we're going to activate the Stardust as we're going to get the Illumination. From here we can go into our Charge Warrior. And we're doing this in order to not only free up the main monster zone, we want to get our Servant. But we also want to take a specific line of play since we have the 100 in our hand. So we're going to get the draw one off the charge and the search off the jet. And then from there we're going to special summon out the junk servant, go into our Axel, and then we can use the Axel's effect which will bring back the jet synchron. From here we'll then go into our Yazzie, again freeing up our monster zone so that we can make these next plays as we're then going to activate the illumination. And this will get us the trail from our deck. From here we can use Fleur and the Axel for the Baron. And then we can activate the illumination targeting the trail and now you can either change it to level 5 if you want to synchro it away with the junk or you can turn it into level 3 which is the kind of spicier play that I'm going to do now and this will allow you to synchro away into a level 10 synchro and I mentioned this one in particular because there are some strong level 10s coming out like the chaos one so that's another reason why this is in here but now I'm going to use the Baron and now we can get the Yazi's effect which will bring out the Mare Mare from our deck from here we'll then use the effect of the Mirror Mirror, and this will give us the ability to use the token and the junk in order to go into our Herald in the extra monster zone. Now this would have been a level 8 synchro had we not used the Destrudo for the Cheng Ying and used the junk synchron for a level 8 synchro instead. But from here we're then going to activate the Mirror Mirror again and this will give us the ability to finally activate the 100 from our hand in order to special summon it. And then from here we can use them in order to go into the Tatsunoko, then use the Mare Mare again as we'll get the final token so that we can synchro away into a synchro 5. And then from here we can climb up into a synchro 8 as this can be Crystal Wing or the Draco Berserker. But from here, we're then going to activate the 100 from our graveyard, which will banish itself for the extra token. And then there are a few things that you can actually do here, like bringing back the Destrudo or the Stardust Synchron from our graveyards, if we happen to have more extenders and stuff. But for this particular video, I just want to use what we have at hand. And this is another part where you can make the level 10 Chaos Synchro once that comes out. Because we're using the TCG card pool, we're just going to go into the other Sword Soul level 10 Synchro, adding a little bit of flavor to this end board. Keep in mind, you also have two more cards along with what you drew off Charge Warrior that you can play with if this was your opening hand. Now for the second combo, and this is something that was showcased on D-Time's channel, but I wanted to cover it a little little bit more because I kind of had thoughts about it. And this will be a segment on how heroes can sort of play through Nibiru. And uh, I say sort of because of what I'm going to show. So we're going to start with activating a hero lives. Then we can bring out the Stratos. Use the Stratos effect which will give us a search for the malicious. As we'll then activate the Ferris from our hand. Pitching the Mali. And then from here we'll bring out the Ferris. Use the effect in order to get the increase and then from here we can activate the increase tributing the ferris and then from here the increase will get its effect which will bring out the vion from our duck vion can then use its effect which will get us the send for the denier as we'll then use the vion in order to get us the polymerization and then from here we can link away into cross crusaders we're going to use its effect bringing back the mali and at this point on you have to keep in mind we're already in nibiru territory though it wouldn't technically be correct to nib here because the hero 
hero player still has cards in hand. They can have fusion destiny. They still have access to DPE with the poly, the Mali, and denier access, making them not as vulnerable to nib. So from here, we're going to activate the cross, getting our liquid soldier. Then we can activate the poly. From here, we'll then be able to go into our sunriser, use the sunriser effect along with the liquid soldier, and then we'll be able to get ourselves a couple of draws along with the miracle fusion. We'll also have to send one from our hand to the graveyard as we're just going to dump the nib, but we're then going to go into the wonder driver, activate the miracle fusion, go into our wake up, and now this is probably the correct point to nib because they may be able to get their DPE, but it still puts them on having fusion destiny or any other extender beyond that. You also block their access from the wake up special summon that they would originally get. So from here, we're going to use the wonder in order to get our poly back and then we're going to activate the Mali. We'll then use the deniers effect and again this is another point where you can just nib and punish your opponent even more. We'd have to rely on what is the rest of the stuff in our hand. Now there are lines of play where you can make the DPE earlier depending on what's in your hand. But I just want to go over the standard combos as they are the more common ones. I would also like to mention that if you were to use Fusion Destiny you wouldn't be able to get anything but Shadow Mist that you would really want to get off the wake up. So from here we're going to activate the denier getting our Mali back and then we can activate the poly giving us the DPE and now you can head to the end phase in which your opponent will try to activate nib and again the correct point to nib is obviously before they activate polymerization and that's because this play is available to them now. So from here we'll activate the DPE in response to that getting ourselves the wake up effect along with the nib token with the special summon from the wake up that we'll get along with the DPE but we'll get ourselves the stratos our stratos can then search ourselves the plasma and then finally we can use the effect of the Mali in order to bring out the plasma use it to take our opponent's nibiru so they don't even get to keep it giving you a better solution to Nibiru. Now, I want to go back into the combo a bit where we had the wake up and the wonder driver along with the DPE. And the point of this is because if your opponent doesn't have the Nibiru, then you really don't have a reason at this moment to keep the wake up on board. So you can just go over to the end phase, activate the DPE, bring out Shadow Mist, via the wake up once you destroy it. Get yourself the mask change off the shadow mist that you special summon and then in your end phase, even though you miss out on the search, you do get your Dark Law to fortify your end board. That was something I didn't hear him mention in the video, and it was something I thought that was kind of cool that you could do in order to counteract Nibiru in a more fluid way that functions with the deck. Now, for the Synchron list, I have a lot of the same stuff, except we added the 200, and this is just for testing, as it's probably not even optimal if I'm being honest. It does require more extra deck slots, since you are going into a extra level 10. But the fact you can also use it to play around Nibiru as it is a body that you can summon once they bring out the Nibiru and give you the token were enough to really make me consider it. You'll see I even ended up replacing it for a copy of the Doppel Warrior since they technically do the same thing as you often aren't using the tokens of the Doppel. For the Destiny Hero build, I wanted to also mention I don't think that you need to double up on the Plasma or even play the three Stratos and I don't mean to counter everything that the times has because I do think that the combo in itself is great and I will leave a link to his channel down below as it's a must watch for any hero player that wants to get better with the deck but with that being said how i felt about it was that you're not always going to have plasma not clogging on normal summons also allow heroes to be a little bit stronger in regards to being able to play lava golem and denko i would also like to mention that if you're playing thrust you're not really as dependent on that specific combo to counter Nibiru because Thrust can just search you into a fusion destiny, destiny draw, reinforcement of the army, or whatever else you may need to get into. But anyways, that's all I have for today's video, and if you made it this far, I would like to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. It's Bones, signing out.